what I really, and I go, I don't, it might go a little bit too deep now, but I always used to, I find physical pain in training a test. So like when, for instance, the sport I do today, Ironman, oh, yeah. um, when I get off the bike, so I swim 3.8K, I ride 112 miles, and then I run a full distance marathon. And, and, and if you look at me, like in relation to a lot of Ironman athletes, I'm quite broad, I'm quite muscular, because some of them are like, obviously, d d d d it's, like, it's the hardest one day endurance race in the world. But then when you look at my marathon, how quick I can run off a bike, is normally I'm normally one of the quickest marathon runners in an Ironman. Like normally, it's there are people quicker than me. Like a lot. What did you do a marathon in? In, in an Ironman, I, my PB is 3:03. In an Ironman, I've, so you've I've just done that on the bike. 112 miles, and then I get off, and I, that, that's my PB. I run that in uh, Germany, and there and again there are professional men that have done the sport for years and years and years and stuff, and, that, and they're a bit quicker than me, um, like at running. But when I do, when I'm on that run, and I get to the back end, like the last 12 miles, like. I can't describe to you the pain how you start feeling. Like your body is screaming for you to stop because at that point you've been continuously exercising for like seven hours, right? And you've been pushing your body to like 80% of its max effort. So if you imagine like a battery and it's slowly ebbing away of energy, you get to a point where you're on fumes and then it's literally mind over matter. You are, you are, you are in a place and it's the only time where I feel one with my body it's amazing. Like you, you go through this process, and I, I said this to an athlete the other day at Diamond. It's like you, you, you. It's like you go internalized. Your whole body just seems to sink, and then you can even notice it. Like when your energy is ebbing away, and you have to take like a, a caffeine gel, and the minute you hit it, you, you take it in, and you can feel it in your body. You can feel it pull the energy out, and it is. It just feels. It feels amazing. Like I feel my mind and body are one, but that only comes from sort of. Uh, pushing my body that hard through the pain but i find that very addictive you can right you enjoy that state of total awareness that you must have started exploring when you were doing them burpees <coughs> in the cell by that little air vent say yesterday when i was down at the gym <laughs> doing pull-ups right when it like assisted by a band mark you like when it gets to like on the third set six and i'm like oh this is too hard like i feel like when that feeling of failure comes like a physical failure i hate that feeling and i feel like the rest of my body is contorting to try and do it i don't feel like that i can reach into a deeper thing and transfer it to the body do you think that it's different when you're working for strength increasing things or something yeah i, yeah, I do i do i, I think because i think what we're talking about here is very much more it's more this the mind and the spirituality, like because like, what it is, you're going. It's the process. You've got a lot of time to analyze where you're at. So when you're doing endurance sport, for instance, you can verbalize what you're doing. So when I do strength training, it is it's it's, it's short. It's it's anaerobic. It's like bang 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 bang. You haven't really got that time for that self awareness to talk yourself through it. Um, but I think with failure, ah. with, with the I say, I say failure, I don't really like to use the word. I think it's growth. It's an area ah, of growth. growth, and you can always improve. So you need to find that point of where you can't go any further for that to then occur. So then you can then grow from that and yes. you know where your limits are to a degree where you can then push through it the next time and the next time. And it's it's all about strategies and the way I sort of, the way I cope with with pushing my body that hard for, for that period of time. But it's, it, is a, it is an amazing journey. Thanks for watching this podcast and going all the way to the end of it. Would you just kind of to click the bell? It might not be there, could be over there. And uh, subscribing so that we can infiltrate your serenity and peace of mind with jangling bells and buzzes. Thank you.